Memory, oh, how we love memory. It can be from anything from checking your cellular data on your phone, or from downloading Metal Gear Solid HD collection on your PC, or from downloading games on PlayStation Store. Memory is pretty much in a lot of our things, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Today, I want to introduce you guys to all types of memory sizes. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, when it comes to memory, most people think of these four common types where we see everywhere. Kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, and tetrabytes. Of course, there are a lot more than those four. That explains the reason why you're here today to watch this video. And I'm going to explain all those from the smallest to greatest. First, starting with bit. Now, a bit is the smallest memory size there is. It usually holds up one of the two values, a zero or a one. And those are the values you'll always see. It's usually a set of eight usually to make one byte, which is the next unit we're moving into right now. Now, a byte is the central memory unit of the computer, which is usually made up of eight strings of a bit. Now, like we just said, a byte is eight bits, which a byte, an example of a byte, will be a letter from an alphabet. For example, using the word boy, the letter B, O, and Y are made up of eight bits, which make a byte. So each of those letters is a byte. And now, my sweet, patient children, we are in kilobytes. I really don't have to go into much detail about this, but I'll give the definition and example. Now, a kilobyte is made up of 1,024 bytes. So that's pretty accurate information right there. An example of a kilobyte will surprise you. All modern versions of Windows, including Windows 10 and Mac OS X Snow Leopard, for example, are taken up by KB. Windows 10 takes up 65,536 bytes. To do the math for you, that's 64 KB. Although Mac OS X Snow Leopard converts it to 66 KB. Who knows which one's true? I'm probably going to have to go with Mac OS X since it's newer. Although, let's move on to the next one. Oh, megabytes, oh, megabytes, oh, how I love you, megabytes. Yes, megabytes, the ones we all love and know. And megabytes are awesome and very common, but bear with me on how many bytes it takes up. It takes up a lot. Let me say it. Bear with me here. It takes up 1,048,576 bytes. Now, to convert that to keep you from having a mental breakdown, it's 1,024 kilobytes. So, some examples of a megabyte, which you can think off the top of your head, you could too, is a video game or simply an app off your phone. The most prominent of games could be Clash of Clans or maybe Talking Tom or video game consoles, Minecraft. Of course, everyone knows that one. Or simply an app, YouTube, which you guys are watching now. Let's move on to the next. A gigabyte is a unit of storage equivalent to 1,073,741,824 bytes, which you really could just say 1,024 megabytes, but if you like that, go ahead. Gigabytes are not that common on mobile devices, but are very common on PC and consoles. Here's some examples. Downloading 200 songs or watching YouTube for 8 hours on your mobile device. A terabyte is a unit of information about 1,099,511,627,776. I'm not going to repeat that again. And also, it is about 1,024 gigabytes. It's not many common examples, but here are a couple that you guys should probably know about. They have the 1 terabyte bundle with Halo 5 Guardians to Xbox One and the 1 terabyte PS4. But those are some common examples. Now, pause for a moment. Everything I'm about to say is actually real. All right, bear with me. Example of a terabyte will be 1,400 CD-ROMs, 220 DVDs, and 40 Blu-ray discs. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You guys are in for a rude awakening. These numbers are getting huge. All right, a petabyte is one quadrillion. 125 trillion, 899 billion, 906 million, 842,624 bytes. Ridiculous. Just say 1,024 terabytes, all right? I don't want to repeat that number. I don't want to repeat that number again. Please don't have me do that. And the examples? These things are mind-blowing. Here are these three examples. Play a one megabyte four minute song for 2,000 years straight. 
you don't think that's big enough? If you counted all the bits per second, it would take 285 million years. If you don't think that's big enough, take the DNA of each human in the USA and clone it twice. Yeah, think about that. An exabyte is about 1 quintillion bytes and 1,024 petabytes. And to put that in perspective, that's bigger than the number I said a minute ago. Alright, prepare your ears for this. I'm going to say this twice. According to a study made by Mark Liberman, an exabyte is equivalent to every word ever spoken by mankind. Every word ever spoken by mankind. I'll give you a billion years to think about that one. Let's move on. Now, you might be wondering why I'm showing Yoda, because the next memory size is Yoda Byte. Fun fact, it was actually named by Yoda from Star Wars. Yes, the Yoda that looks like a cross between Old Man Beast Boy from Teen Titans Go and the guy who always says my pressures on Star Wars. See, he agrees with me. Yeah, look at that innocent, shriveled up prune. Yeah. Now, there's not really good examples on a Yoda Byte, but a Yoda Byte is just a septillion, which is a 1 followed by 24 zeros. Yes, that is a big number. Now, if you think I'm done, I'm just halfway through. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Don't, don't exit the video. Actually, this is the last one. Now, basically, a zettabyte is 1,000 exabytes or a billion tetrabytes. Think about a billion Xbox Ones or a billion PlayStation 4s with a tetrabyte. Now, from what all the sources I could find, they said a zettabyte is one sextillion bytes, which is sextillion smaller than a septillion, so I don't really get the gist of that. But one sextillion is 21 zeros, so yeah, I, that, that's still pretty big. Now, this is mind-blowing. A zettabyte is as big as the Great Wall of China. It's volume. Google how big the Great Wall of China is, and you'll be amazed. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. And if you're new to this channel, uh, I mostly do gaming and I do a little bit of tech. Uh, I've only done one tech video or two, but I'm going to start moving into that more or like science behind gaming and stuff. I'm going to start doing that more. Uh, this is one of my first videos on uh, that, so kind of. But um, my next video is either going to be on why they used to call games 8-bit or 16-bit or either... Um, a video like this but with numbers so I'm gonna do either of those two also there are three numbers bigger than zettabyte but I'll have them in the description and I put all my other videos in the description see you guys later